so if you are on a protective style challenge yes welcome to the club we are currently on a three month mini braids challenge today's video is particularly about some things that i feel like uh we do not know about or maybe we know but we take them with um kids glove and they are ruining our chances of retaining length even when we do protective style challenge i've seen a lot of people complain they do these protective hairstyles but they don't retain length so i know i kind of like to chip in um, in some of my videos why uh, some people don't see length retention even after months and months of protective hairstyle but in today's video I'm going to be sharing some things that are really really very important for us to note and um, I believe that if you pay attention to these things you're going to see some changes in your hair or in whatever goals that you set for your hair during this protective style challenge so uh, one of those things that I feel like we don't pay attention to is and in our hair when we are stressed or when we are on our periods now these are for the ladies you know what I mean so I mentioned this in my previous video but I wanted to stress more on this particular point because I did myself like I have never paid attention to handling your hair when you're your periods over the years I've been doing my hair every time like i feel like like every week even um i've never paid attention to whether i'm on my period or not or stuff like that but this time around it really caught me like it really did get me so maybe i've been doing it over the years and in those times that i've handled my hair when i'm in my period i lose more hair but i didn't just connect it to the fact that it might be because of this phase that i'm going through that um i've lost so much hair so i want to focus on this topic today so i'm going to do another video of the do's and the don'ts and stuff like that but this one is really really particular like really really particular i know there's a lady on youtube that really mentioned i was watching a video one time and she really did mention this top this point i kind of don't remember her name but i'm going to put it on your screen so you can watch that video as well she really did say that if she's on a period she doesn't touch her hair so I was, I was still trying to put the pieces together like what's the connection until i started you know digging deep into it and i figured of course when we're on our periods there are lots of hormones that play out like lots of hormones so it's almost like you're stressed because i know i come up here to say don't touch your hair when you're stressed and stuff like that so i should also be able to connect those two together because when you're in your period for most ladies they are really really stressed they are really really in pain they are really really tired they, they experience a lot of fatigue and stuff like that so handling your hair in that period is really really not the best this time around i decided to pay attention so I did a video um, a while back of me rebraiding my mini braids and I even shared with you guys how long it took me to do that. Trust me guys, that period that I was doing that rebraiding, I was actually on my time. I'm usually not the time to feel fatigued, tired, stressed when I'm on my time. But the amount of hair I lost, like the amount of hair that came out i'm going to show you guys was so so much like it's not as if i've not lost that amount of hair before but i usually you know have a particular size that i lose each time i hand over hair so but i don't feel it's outrageous because mind you my hair my mini braids had stayed for five weeks and if you want to calculate the number of shedding you get per day you know it kind of add up but for me that is not how i lose uh, i mean i don't lose that much hair so i'm here to tell you guys if you are on this challenge or whatever you're just you know taking care of your hair maybe you're not on any challenge or whatsoever please and please if you are on your time do not handle your hair like do not touch your hair so i'm going to you know 
agree with this um, YouTuber, natural hair YouTuber that said that because I heard it first on her channel and um, even though it didn't really make sense to me at that time but right now it's making sense girl it's really really making sense because when I looked at the amount of hair that I lost and mind you I'm not talking about breakage trust me I don't think I broke that much of my hair no I'm talking about long pieces of hair coming out from my scalp like my my hair was really you know coming out coming off easily from my scalp that tells me that um, there are some things going on on my scalp that my scalp was feeling tender they didn't need to be stressed they didn't need to be touched or you know handled at that particular time so that was how i felt but overall it didn't hinder in any way the length that i grew because i didn't break my hair i was very very careful to make sure that i didn't um break my hair from you know the ends so that i could retain the length and i shared with you guys you know in the previous video so if you have not watched that go check that out but talking about long strands of hair coming from my scalp they were just too much another thing that i think saved me was moisturizing my hair frequently because if i didn't moisturize my hair as often as i did during that five weeks trust me maybe i would have lost more you know but my hair was you know strong but at that period my hormones were down so my scalp wasn't feeling it at all that was why i lost so much so um one thing you shouldn't forget to do is moisturizing your scalp moisturizing your hair and your scalp everything massaging your scalp because i was big on that like for that five weeks i'm telling you i must have massaged and moisturized my hair for more than 10 times yes because i really love that scalp massages and the feeling it gives you know bringing that blood flow to your scalp because blood is going to uh, blood is what brings all the nutrients you know up to your scalp just to make your scalp grow healthy hair so don't skip your moisturizing routine if you're doing once a week please stick to it if you're doing twice a week stick to it don't ever forget to moisturize your hair because it's going to really help you in the long run especially when you're taking down your hairstyle then um before i say my goodbyes i like to show you guys what i lost while i was rebraiding my hair i rebraided my hair in four days like i was just taking my time and this is what i lost and trust me these are long strands of hair because while i was picking them from the floor everything was just long pieces of my hair like i told you guys i was on my time so that is one factor that makes a lot of people lose a lot of hair so but talking about breakage from my ends and stuff no 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 because i knew what i was doing i took my time you know to do all that so this is entirely it and if you want to go by the rule that says we shared 50 to 100 strands per, day, strands per day then this is justified but for me i don't like to say this is justified i like to say i'll do better next time not to touch my hair when i'm in my time because the hormones they kind of ruined the party this time around so this is it don't make that mistake watch it if your hormones are playing out don't touch your hair so you don't have the same results but overall i think my length was retained i did show you guys my length grew like i did that length kind of rough length check go and check that video so that you know what i'm talking about and that is it guys for today's video if you learned something don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and share this video as well. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.